And investigators out now saying they are not looking for a suspect considering this a domestic related incident. And investigators also saying those three dead bodies may have been inside that house for up to a year and just maybe dead inside that house for up to 18 months. Look here. Just beyond the front entrance of this exclusive gated community is the house where police come across the grisly scene. Three bodies found inside, two men and a woman. And if that's not grisly enough, police say all three bodies are severely decomposed. They have been dead for a year or more. Super shocked. Super shocked. I would walk my dog past that house like every day, and I would never like think that the house had like dead people in it or anything. Neighbors just can't believe the dead bodies have been inside this house for so long. Police thinking the bodies were a father, mother, and son. But positive IDs may take a while since the bodies are so badly decomposed. There are no signs out front. The house itself may have stood idle and unattended for. The homeowners association keeps up the lawn and other maintenance. But there is a chilling sign in the back. Something could be wrong. Check it out. The pool, nothing but dirty, discolored water. I just thought it was normal, but then I saw like the camera footage of like up above, and I was like, that's kind of really weird because the pool was like really gross and stuff. A family in Canada asked for a welfare check, concerned they hadn't been able to contact their relatives here in Irvine for more than a year. Investigators say it appears to have been a murder suicide after they find a gun inside the house. As everybody now is left trying to understand how a family of three could just disappear off the grid without anybody even looking or wondering what might have happened to them. They had like a forwarding notice, so then they would forward it to a different house. But after that, they just had so much mail that they would just bring it back to the post office and hold it there. And now uh, that's a good point that a lot of neighbors are saying why they, they they never gave it a second thought. The mail was being forwarded, so they're thinking maybe this family took off, went back up to Canada to be with their relatives. Another big important reason to think about why they just disappeared off the grid, nobody looking for them. Back then, maybe a year or 18 months, as investigators are saying, we were in a, in a pandemic, a lockdown, remember? So a lot of folks were just staying inside, being very careful, not worried about what their neighbors were up to, and investigators thinking that might have been a big part why these, these three people just disappeared and no one even wondered what happened. For now, we're live here in Irvine, Ed Lasco. Back to both of you we go.